Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, just didn't have a little update here since I've actually made some <clears throat> purchases in games recently. Um, just to get one thing out of the way quick, it's been kind of a crazy last couple weeks. Um, I anyone has been checking my Twitter page. Um, <clears throat> my mom went in the hospital and they found some tumors in her brain, which is not good news at all. But she's kind of had cancer for the last four years. And, you know, I guess it spread, so... Um, she's still coherent. She's not, like... She's not, like, uh... <clears throat> on her way out, like, tomorrow. I mean, I hope, God forbid, but, you know. Um... But, yeah, she's been up at the hospital a lot. And I don't know when she's gonna come home. I'm hoping before Christmas, because I really don't want to spend Christmas without her. Who knows, you know, what the future holds. And, um... So I've been up there a lot, and I haven't really been able to play whole lot of console games, not only because I haven't been home, but because I get home, I just want something to relax, I don't really feel like getting into a, a deep experience, a long experience, like Far Cry or something where it's like 30, 40 hours, you know, it's just not what I'm into, <clears throat> anything just kind of mindless, quick, or just pick up and play easy, um, so yeah, I've been, you know, playing Black Ops and stuff, but, um, being up at the hospital a lot, I don't get to play too many games lately, so... You know, it's kind of like an early Christmas present my mom wanted me to get some kind of handheld, you know, something to do up there, and, um, just so I wasn't so bored. Sometimes I stay up there, like, all day. Sometimes I slept over there the other night, and, uh, <clears throat> it gets kind of boring up there sometimes, because really all there is is TV, I mean, you enjoy your company, but, you know, there's only so much you can really talk about in a whole day, so... Um, I traded some stuff in, too, so I didn't make the whole burden on her, but... Um, I picked up uh, a 3DS. This is the Super Mario 3D Land Holiday Bundle. It has uh, Super Mario 3D Land pre-installed onto the memory, which is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know how much space it actually takes up out of there, but um, yeah, I played some of that. I played probably the first couple of worlds, and it's actually quite a good game. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that good because I saw videos of it. I'm like, eh, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. But to be honest with you, the 3DS is probably the best handheld I've had. I mean, I haven't had a lot of handhelds. I like the DS, I like the GBA, but I think the 3D effect in there, I don't know, if you haven't played it, you probably don't think much of it, but the 3D effect on there is really awesome. Um, there's like these little AR cards you can get, there's like this little mini game thing you can play, and you put it on a table or something, flat surface, and it makes your whole surface into like a play area. It's not just like an augmented reality, like, you know, iPad or whatever. Um, it actually, like, transforms the whole environment, and the 3D looks so crazy. I swear to God, sometimes the stuff looks like it's coming right out of the screen at me. And uh, there's like, this one game where you're shooting targets, and then this dragon head comes out. Like, it looks like it's coming right out of your table. And the dragon head kept going, like, Rrr! and it looks like it was coming right out of the screen. And it was like... It actually kind of scared me for real a couple times. I was like, this is pretty awesome. And uh, <clears throat> the other 3D effects are really cool. Um, Super Mario 3D Land uses really well. Um, I usually put the, the 3D slider about halfway. And when I'm sitting, it's perfect. It doesn't hurt my eyes. It looks really good. And uh, it's just it's something really unique. I, I like it. Um, here's my 3DS right here. Um, Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, you probably, I, don't know, I guess you probably heard that since I put it right up to the camera. Yeah, I can't really show if it's too bright, but yeah, it's on standby right now. Um, <coughs> actually, I went to McDonald's right near GameStop because it has like that Nintendo Zone thing, and just wanted to say you can get like exclusive game stuff or whatever. I'm like, all right, it's just like quizzes, like Pokemon quiz and Mario quiz and stuff. I didn't do it, not only because I didn't want to, but for some reason the Wi-Fi at McDonald's was like the slowest Wi-Fi I've ever seen. I had three bar on here connected to the, the, you know, the access point or whatever, but it was just like, it was like 14.4K modem speed. It took like a couple minutes, like three to five minutes just to load in each page, and I was like, I don't, I'm not that desperate to play a Pokemon quiz, so, yeah. <clears throat> but, but that aside, I haven't had a lot of fun. I brought it up to the hospital yesterday. Playing new Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, and uh, I got some free games when I bought it. I guess like pretty much every retailer is giving this away: Steel Diver, 
because nobody wants it. I haven't played this yet because I don't really care. I'm sure it's decent, but I just don't have any interest. And in why is he getting so damn brave? Hold on. Change the brightness. Mm, that's a little better. All right. I don't know why I got like really bright outside all of a sudden. I look like the sun child. But anyway, <clears throat> got Steel Diver, and haven't touched it. Uh, another free game I got with the purchase of the system was Nintendogs. We can't really see that either, can you? Oh, anyway, you know what Nintendogs is. Um, I'm really happy that I got that because I did like the original Nintendogs on the DS. Um, it got a little old because <clears throat> the limitations and stuff, but um, I was mostly playing at my house. But for something that's on the go, having like an animal like to take care of it, it I mean, the graphics are good, the dogs are cute, and uh, I just I think it's cool. And it's got cats in there. I don't know where the cats are exactly, but I know you can't do a whole lot with them. Probably just play with them or pet them and stuff. But it's really cool. The only thing I don't like is they move since it's, it's the top screen's 3D and they're going to use that for all the games. Kind of don't like that they put the dogs on the top screen and the bottom screen's like little silhouettes and you pet like the silhouettes instead of the actual dog like on the DS. So that kind of makes it a little less cool, but <clears throat> I, I know why they did it. Not sure I really agree with that decision, but they really didn't have much choice unless they made the top screen touch as well, which I'm sure a 3D touch screen probably costs way more than it's worth, so. Anyway, uh, another game I picked up, I uh, traded in some stuff to get some extra games because I, I need a good variety to keep me going. <clears throat> I got Mario Kart 7. Um, that game is really cool. Um, at first, I was a little bit disappointed with the tracks. Um, the track design's a little bit, eh, and your first the first couple of cups, but then uh, the last two cups and the the new tracks are really good, and then the, they have the classic tracks for they have like ones that are remade from the Wii, the, the DS, the SNES, and stuff like that in '64. Um, those are actually really good. They picked some really good ones. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what other ones are in there. I haven't looked at the track list. I'm on the second cup, or the third. I think it's the second cup. <clears throat> Either way, that's really nice that they have those in there. And it's got online battle mode, which the DS one didn't have for some stupid reason. Played that last night. Um, I lost because I didn't realize what we were playing. We were playing like a coin battle. So you hit the other player, they drop coins. You got to pick up the coins and have the most coins. If people, every time you hit someone, they lose coins, you know. So I was destroying people, but I wasn't picking up their coins because I just like I have whatever coins I don't care. And then I realized I was like halfway, I was like halfway in the leaderboard because so I wasn't getting any coins. But if I got the coins, I probably would have won because I didn't get hit at all. I was destroying people. I was like, yeah, I'll kick a butt, but I didn't get really in the coins. So I guess I screwed up. I'll learn that next time. Um, but yeah, it has the online stuff, which is really nice. It's pretty much whatever you want to do. You can just custom setups. Um, on the regular DS, it was random. Like, everything was random, I think. I don't even know if you could pick your, your... I think you could pick your racer. I'm not sure. But, like, the tracks were all random. Who you got paired with and everything was random. You couldn't really... I don't even know if you could play with friends, really. Maybe. And it was crappy, though. And uh, But anyway, I love Mario Kart. I played the crap out of Mario Kart DS, and I can I get free Wi-Fi at the hospital, so I can play online there if I want, and you know browse the eShop and stuff. So that's cool. And just today I picked this up. I traded in Hitman Absolution. I think that's what it's called, and uh, I traded that in because it's a really like in-depth thinking man's kind of game, and I just I can't really play that right now. I'm too stressed out with stuff. I just need simple stuff. I traded that, and I traded in my uh, old Xbox 360 controller because I got a new one, which gave me enough money to get New Super Mario Bros. 2. A um, whole lot of Mario, but I love Mario anyway. Um, I haven't opened it yet. You can't tell that it's sealed because, well, you can't barely even see the case, but anyway, it's still sealed. Um, I was thinking of taking it back to GameStop and getting a digital download code because right now on the Club Nintendo you can get special edition Donkey Kong game if you get a digital game and register it on the site. Um, but there's two reasons I don't know if I want to do that. One, it's freezing outside and I don't really feel like going walking back up there. Um, it's not that far of a walk, but I just don't really feel like going back out. And there's also the, just, I don't know, I kind of like having the physical copies. 
Um, I, I would like the convenience, but then then I eat up more and more space left on the system. I mean, I got 12,000 something blocks, so it's not really a big deal. Mario 3D Land was only a couple thousand blocks, so I assume it's probably a couple thousand for that, but I mean, is it really worth it for Donkey Kong? And I mean, the convenience is nice. I don't know. I'm probably just going to open it because I don't really feel like. I mean, I have a carrying case. Actually, one second, let me get my carrying case. This carrying case it says regular Nintendo DS on it. I got this when I had my original Nintendo DS, I don't know, six years ago, whatever it was. And it's actually really nice. It opens up like that, system goes in there. The 3DS fits just fine because this was made for the original DS, which was bigger, but it never really fit too good. The DS Lite fit really good, and considering this thing is only a little bit bigger than a DS Lite, it fits in here great, so that's nice. And then this front compartment here opens up, and then the games go right in there, little pouches. It's kind of a little tricky because the 3DS games have those weird little notches on the side, so any games that I put on this side kind of get caught in it. So for now, I'm just sticking to games on this side. So i got Mario Kart 7 in there right now, and uh, once I'm done playing that, it'll go up here. So pretty much I have Mario Kart 7. New Super Mario Bros. 2, and then these two games. So I pretty much always just have all my games on this side for now, until I get more games. I'm not planning on getting any more new games for a while. For one, no money, and two... The only thing I really kind of wanted right now was uh, Super Paper Mario Sticker Star. Um, and the reason I didn't get Paper Mario Sticker Star is I heard that it was kind of annoying. The battle system didn't really sound too great to me. And I haven't really been a big Paper Mario fan. The only one I really liked was the one on the 64. I mean, I played Thousand Year Door. I played Super Paper Mario. I played the 64 one. So I don't know. I'm not really too into that series. I kind of wanted those as like a bigger meteor experience. But I, I'm going to pass on that one. The only other game right now that I'm kind of interested in, I don't know if I can find it, is... Uh, Fantasy Star Zero for the DS because it's free, it's online, I can connect to the servers probably at the hospital. It's something to grind away with, you know, I like Fantasy Star, and uh, but nobody really sells it. I don't really want to wanna, like order it online or travel all around or whatever. And I don't even know if the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection stuff works on the 3DS because I think 3DS is using the Nintendo network, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I don't know if that even works on the 3DS. It might not. I know that's I know it's backwards compatible, but that you guys let me know on that one. I can I can look it up, but I mean, if someone tells me that's a lot easier. Um, so yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it's something to do. Um, it was either that or I need an iPod Touch, but I don't. It's not really good for gaming. It's only gonna last me so long. Little touch screen games. And uh, I didn't have enough money for a Vita. I probably could have if I really wanted it. But considering it's like a lesser PS3 <clears throat> with not really any games that interest me, I did. I opted out of it because I figured it's not really worth it. Um, I mean, I would have got a lot of games. I had PlayStation Plus activated on my account until next year, but I just didn't really find anything I really want. I'm kind of sick of so many games right now. I haven't played. I really didn't. Never really played my PS3 for a long time, so I sold that. I haven't regretted it at all. Um, the nice thing about this too, though, this 3DS. Is I'm sure anyone that has it or whatever, it's got an internet browser, and it's nice because you can stop what you're playing, go to the internet browser, and it won't close your game. You can look up stuff, post to Twitter, whatever you want to do, and then go back to your game. It was really cool. I, I, it's a really good device. I'm glad I got it. I was gonna get the XL one. But I didn't think it would really be portable enough because if I don't feel like bringing this and I just want to stick it in my pocket, this, the XL would be way too big. Because this one is actually like perfect size. It's, it's got a little bit snug in my pocket, but enough so it doesn't rattle around. Any bigger than that, it would just be too. It would be overkill. I didn't. I didn't want to have something like just like cramp in my leg in my pocket because I'm gonna be walking around a lot and stuff. So 
Yeah, I got the regular one, and the battery life's kind of mm, kind of poopy. But maybe they'll come up with a new battery sometime down the line. I'll just swap it. Maybe like a different model. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I haven't really been doing much else. I'm sh I don't know how long this video even is. I can't even see. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Um, peace.